Hi there guys, I'm Albert Pretorius, Fox Raid sponsored angler, and what I thought we'll do today is give you a quick tip on how to rig up a drop shot rig. What we'll be using is a drop and jig fluorocarbon from Fox Rage. You need about three and a half to four foot. So get the length you need. And then the hooks I'll be using is the drop shot hook. The knot that we'll be using is gonna be a Palamon knot. So what I'll do is I'll uh, rig it through the hook first and then make sure that you're roughly in the middle of where you need to be. And we'll loop it through again to the back end of the hook eye. Okay. So now you've got the loop. What you want to do is you want to do an overhand knot with a loop. So push it through. So once you've done the overhand loop, you're left with another loop. The hook needs to go through that loop, over the eye, and this is where you need to be careful. Just work it down evenly. Because it's all about delicate presentation. Okay. There we go. And also what you need to make sure of is that the line don't form a little knot over the eye of the hook. Okay, so once you've tightened the knot, you just want to lift your rig up just to see which way your hook is pointing. It should be pointing upwards because that'll then give you a top and a bottom end of your line. Okay, now, once you've got the bottom of the line, another great little tip to ensure that hook kicks up nice and tidy is to thread the bottom end of the line through the top of the hook. And then by pulling that straight down, will help that hook up nice and tidy. Hi, my name is Albert Pretorius, Fox Raid sponsored angler. We've already had a look at the perfect way to rig up a rig for drop shotting. Now we're gonna have a look at the hooks. Specifically, we'll be looking at drop shot hooks from Fox Rage. You might think any hook will do, but that's not the case. Now these hooks are specifically designed for drop shotting and they include features such as an outturned eye, which kicks the hook away from the line, which gives you better lure presentation. It also includes a non-reflective coating, which ensure the fish will see the lure rather than the hook. They're also super strong and super sharp with that sharpness coming from the armor point technology from Fox. With any lure technique, sharp hooks are key. And these hooks will get brilliant penetration even in the boniest of mouths. The other feature of this hook is the wide gape. That'll help you to hook up the lure body and also leave enough hook point out to help with those hookups. Okay, let's talk about the way you would hook your lures. So with this being a larger hook, I can use it to hook it up like a jig head or a little jig. Or, depending on the size of the lure, if you use smaller lures, you can just um, sort of like lip hook it, which is also very effective and it does show a lot of the hook and it'll help with your hookup rate. Which hooking style you choose to use will depend on the size of the lures and the presentation that you want on the water. Hi there guys, so I'm Albert Pretorius, Fox Raid sponsored angler. So we've already had a quick look at some of the things you need for drop shotting, like how to rig it and what hooks to use. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a look at what lures you can use. Some people may say that when they're out drop shotting, they use split tail and pin tail only. However, that might be the case for them. When I'm out, I like to try a different variety of lures to get the presentation I need on the day. Obviously, the pintail is a must for any drop shot to stack a box, and this is my go-to lure 
when you just need something really slow in the midst of winter when the fish aren't that active. The pintail doesn't have an inherent action when it's straight retrieve, but just with a little tap on the blank or on your rod will give that lure a lot of movement. And that's what you need. Everybody knows the paddle tail and on a steady retrieve, that tail gives it a lot of action and vibration. It's also a great choice on drop shotting when the fish are chasing. It just means that you have to give it a slightly faster retrieve to get that paddle tail moving. The curly tail, like the paddle tail, has a lot of movement and vibration on the retrieve. And it needs slightly less speed to make it work. So again, you need some speed in the retrieve to get that tail working. One of the things you can do to get a lot more movement in the tail is to use a tungsten bead from Fox Rage and that'll help the lure drop through the water layers quicker and create that movement on the tail. Another great choice is the recently launched drop shot fly from Fox Rage. And this is unlike anything else you've used before. You get a lot of action on this lure, either on a slow retrieve or a fast retrieve. My advice is to give it a go.